Hey, what's going on guys? It's CJ. All right, we have a Best Way Steel Pro Max pull. Whether you have this brand or not, I wanna show you something about this filter here and why it's actually leaking. We have it down like this and it starts leaking out of the top. All right, that is not proper. It should not be leaking out of the top. This probably happened because somebody who changed the filter they didn't realize where the ring goes. And I'll put the link in the description for the filters of where you can get them at. So first thing you wanna do is lift it up, turn your power off, I already turned the power off. So if you wanna stop the water from flowing, you can just lift it up. The water's not gonna flow through anymore. All right, so let's look at this. All right, so we have our filter. I just changed it, it's pretty clean, the new filter. All right, that just sits in the middle. Okay, and then the next step here is this ring the ring the black o-ring the rubber ring is on the inside of this that is not correct that is not where it's supposed to be and that is why this filter is actually leaking water so you're going to take that out you can use like a, a box cutter just something that can a flathead that can take it out without cutting it all right so i got the ring take this ring out from this cap all right, so the ring is, rubber ring is now out of the cap. Again, it doesn't belong in there, even though it looks like it does. And now you're going to place the ring. You're actually going to place the ring right here on the inside. You're going to place the ring right here on the inside. And it does seem like it is bigger than the circle, but it will fit nicely and it will be tight. And that's how it should be. So you're going to have to just bend it in there a little bit and push it down. Now you can actually see that it fits perfectly around the inside and it's forming a nice good seal, right? Then you're going to place your cap on top. Also, you want to loosen this top knob where it says air release. You want to loosen it up, loosen it up when you start out because you want air to flow through first. So this is going to sit right on top of that ring and you can feel it's already tight. Like water is not going to come out of that. It is really tight. Okay. So I can feel it. It's already sealing, sealing down. Then you're going to take your last piece, which is the circle cap part. And then you're going to tighten that down. You don't have to over tighten it, but you know, tighten it to where it won't tighten anymore. And then you can drop this down. And as you drop it down, you can turn your top valve to, you can hear the air. You can hear the air is, okay. Now that the water's gone through and the air has been released, you can now tighten this. And now no more water will leak out of this valve because now the ring is where it should be. And just to show you, it's not leaking anymore. That was just a little bit of water from the top, but before it was leaking all out from here and we couldn't figure out why the heck it was leaking. If yours is leaking, it's because your rubber O-ring is in the wrong spot. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.